a quick car setup guide. This car's root prim is already set up correctly. If you don't know how to do that, see my root prim video. Add the mechanic tool script to the car so the HUD can connect. Now you can touch the car to connect the HUD. Choose script injection on the HUD menu. Then choose inject root prim scripts. We are going to install the stock ACS car scripts. You can also install the root scripts manually. You may find it faster. Injecting scripts into prims other than the root requires additional setup steps and you may find it easier just to put them in by hand. Okay. Yep, looks like they are all in there. Set the permissions so they will run. Right click on each script, choose properties and uncheck modify and transfer on each one. Copy should be left checked. These permissions apply to the next owner, not you. Once you have a root prim set up and running, you can unlink it and reuse it on your next build to save time. Also, drop in an animation file from inventory, you will need one to set. One more thing before driving is to add the solid keyword to the tire prims. This will give them a solid surface. You can type them in or use the keyword utility on the HUD like this. The keywords tool shows you what keywords are on a prim when you touch the prim, and lets you add and remove them. The solid keyword tells ACS to set the prim shape to convex all, giving it a solid surface so it sits on the ground. OK, scripts are in, prims are set, animation is in. Tires have solid keywords. Now reboot the car from the menu when we can hop on. The first time you sit you will need to adjust the driver sit position from the position menu in the car's touch menu. After that the car will know where to place the driver when sitting. You can add more animations for turning, shifting, starting, reverse, and different park animations. See the animation page on the wiki. You can also add passenger prims, so a whole bunch can ride along. If you are into that kind of thing. Okay, now we can drive this thing and see if it is working like it should. So far so good. Now to add wheel scripts so they spin and the front ones will turn. The front wheels need the pivoting wheel script. The back wheels need the fixed wheel script. Place the scripts in the prims and set the permissions on the scripts. It can save you a lot of time if you set the permissions on the scripts in your inventory or the ones inside the HUD. Then you won't need to set permissions every time. If you want to inject non-root prim scripts, like the wheels, using the mechanic HUD, you can follow the instruction on the ACS wiki. If your wheels are made of more than one prim, such as a tire and rim, place a wheel script in both parts of the wheel. Only your tire needs the solid keyword, 
as that is what makes contact with the ground. To animate non-spinning parts like the steering wheel and disc brakes, you will record those prim positions using the turn system script, but we will deal with that later. Okay, now that the car is up and running, you will want to move on to all the extra stuff. Lights, doors, graphic options, passenger seats, exhaust, burnout, windshield wipers and other prim animations and all that good stuff. Follow the instructions and try to set up one thing at a time and make sure it's working before moving on to the next. Take backup copies of your vehicle as you work in case anything goes wrong. And before you distribute your vehicle, delete the copy of the no transfer mechanic tool script from inside it. Talk to you later.